start off. Name, rank. All right, it's Kyle Ohashi, O H A S H I. I'm a captain, a public information officer for the Puget Sound Regional Fire Authority. Okay. And what's going on here tonight? Well, at about uh, 3 a.m., we had a report of a possible house fire in the 18000 block of the Renton Maple Valley Road Southeast, uh, also known as Highway 169. When firefighters got on scene, they found a single-story residence uh, that had smoke and flames coming from it. It's a duplex. Fortunately, only half of the duplex was affected by the fire, and the occupants of both sides were able to get out safely. Uh, we are hearing that the occupants one that was on fire had to escape out the window. Do you know anything about that? I don't know how he got outside. I talked to the resident uh, just to make sure they were doing okay, and uh, he said that he did get out safely, as did the incident commander. We did do searches of both sides, uh, did not find anybody else in the uh, building. The fire is now out and under investigation. And just to confirm that occupant was uninjured during this event? Uh, he had a slight injury as a result of the fire. That's been treated by the medics and he was not transported. Okay. We were talking to the homeowner. They said that this place had just been recently renovated with vaulted ceilings and no attic. Did that contribute or hamper any firefighting efforts while inside? Uh, not as far as I know. They got the fire out uh, fairly quickly. It was a very small residence, uh, just a single story, so it was fairly well contained and there were no uh, structures around it that we needed to worry about, so they were able to get the fire out pretty quickly. And the other half of the duplex, was it affected by this fire? It's affected in as much that there's uh, some smoke in there. It's going to penetrate some of uh, the contents in there, but the fire was limited to the one side. Okay. Anything else you can think of? No, like I said, the fire is under investigation. We'll hopefully know more in the next hour or so. All right. Thanks.